Hello, sports fans, sports bettors, and YouTube Nation. John here from Rick at Picks. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day after Christmas. Hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Hope uh, all your um, little ones out there got um, what they wanted, were happy. Hope you got what you wanted. You're very happy. And I uh, hope everybody got to spend time with, uh, you know, what family they could under the, you know, world conditions that were under. Uh, it was just the th same three of, you know, me and my wife, my daughter, I guess four of us, me and my wife, my daughter, and my mother-in-law that have, you know, kind of created our own little bubble, and we've just been hanging out in it, so it is what it is, but mad props to my wife, she got me this awesome NC Dinos hat, it's an authentic Korean baseball, it's got the NC here, the tear here, it's got Korean under the bill, the tag was in Korean, I know she went through heck to get it, because I tried to look for these things myself, and had trouble finding them, because um, I can't read Korean, but she, uh, you know, found somebody that could get her one and, and got one. So, that's awesome. Uh, she always puts a lot of thought into it. I got four new hats, but you guys aren't here to hear about my hat collection. You will see them in the near future. One of them is pretty awesome uh, for my mother-in-law's new Kraken hat, so it's pretty sweet. And then I got some authentic A's hat and authentic uh, Dodgers hat, the, uh, the uh, true colors instead of the white and blue, or white and black that I have now. It's actually the yellow and gold, or excuse me, yellow and green and the uh, blue for the Dodgers so those are awesome almost got my total hat collection complete of um, standard hats without going to the alternate hats but NBA NFL has not treated me nice um, had a small winning day on Christmas Day I was hoping for a big day um, crushed Buffalo had a, had a soccer play early in the morning it was a small play and it lost and then I had a bigger play on Buffalo and they took care of business late made me a little nervous but they got her done and then I had to play on Michigan minus seven and a half over Nebraska they took care of business and then had Iowa they went to overtime and got crushed by Minnesota um, you know mad props to Minnesota Iowa is a really good basketball team but you know they've, they've just made their case for we're not making it to the final four probably uh, Minnesota plays tough plays tough at home and just uh, out outdid them and uh, you know handed me a loss so I was two and two on the Patreon um, winning day because our, our two two bigger plays hit the two smaller plays lost so that's you know that's how you hope it pans out when you do that and then um my free youtube play was the vikings uh with the teaser with the saints we had we teased the over and then it teased the vikings up to plus 14 which obviously didn't hit because the viking or the saints won by 19 um scored a late not needed touchdown i don't even want to get into that i hope somebody repays the saints for that but um you know somewhere down the road Karma's going to hit. Speaking of karma, Alvin Carmera, holy crap, six touchdowns in one game. That's amazing. It's Christmas Day, he showed up to play. He's like, I can't be with my family, but I can get in the end zone and let them know I'm thinking about him. And he did. He got in the end zone a lot. So, you know, you can't uh, you can't shake your head at that. That's, that's pretty awesome for that to happen. But going to the NBA, Indiana Pacers, Chicago Bulls. Um, really new season. Not a lot of data for 2020. Um, you, you can throw in past year stats, but it doesn't really do this year's team justice for either of these two squads. The Bulls are the Bulls. They've been the Bulls for a while. Pacers, you know, they're going to they're gonna hang around. They're going to be there in the end. But are they going to be good enough to, to get into the playoffs? That's the question. Bulls, pretty sure they're not going to hang out and be in the playoffs. But anything can happen. The season is very young. Uh, the last 10 times these guys have played, the Pacers have won nine of those games. Um, to the Bulls one. Last three Pacers have won the last three. Um, average scores 113 to 104, so they're winning these games by you know an average of nine points. Um, on the season so far, Indiana has scored 121 points. The Bulls have scored 104. The Bulls got beat by the Hawks 124 to 104, and the Pacers beat the New York Knicks 121 to 107. Um, in that span, the, the Pacers shot 48%. Uh, they had 50 rebounds in their first game. Well, the, the Bulls shot 41% with 37 rebounds in their games. Uh, both teams' three-point percentage is hovering around 23-25%, so that's, that's pretty even there. I just think the Pacers are going to continue to out-rebound in this game. They're going to out-rebound the Bulls. They're going to out-hustle the Bulls. They're going to get more opportunities for shots, and they're going to convert a slightly higher percentage. Therefore, I think they're going to win the game. The spread is 4.5, and, a half, and um, I really like that number. And I probably should already know what this line is. 
I have it wrote down somewhere, but I could go find my notes in the living room and leave you guys hanging for a minute, or I could just jump right on here and find out what it is. Learn how to read. Boom, minus 110. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. So, minus four and a half, minus 110. That's going to be our free YouTube Grayson Hardwood Ricketts pop pick for this game. I'm going to lay a $50 bill on it at minus 110. You can win 45 45. That's what the math comes out to. That's going to be your free play. Pacers minus four and a half over the Bulls. You know, if you guys want to rock with me, let's do this. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn the notifications on. Somewhere over here, I guess. I got a new camera, so everything is different now. It's true to life. If I put out my left hand, you actually see my left hand. But um, it's not reverse negative like the other one. So, with all that being said, Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you all have a very, very good rest of your year. Hope you had a great Christmas once again. Most importantly, good luck with your bets.